Um, I'm interested in Bitcoin and cryptos as a store of currency. Yes. And I'm wondering um, are there, what ideas you have about storing um, as a store of currency and putting it to work, such as um, trading, mining pools, things like that. Do you put your Bitcoin to work? No, I don't. Um, and that's, that's one of the challenges with um, using this as an investment. Right? There's a big difference between store value and investment. Something is characterized as an investment if it has yield, if it generates some kind of return. Maybe that's dividends in stocks, or um, an interest payment in bonds, or something else like that. Where if you have real estate, you get rent payments from renters, and you have some kind of yield of reinvestment. So you're essentially parking your money, and for a low amount of risk, you have a continuous return without eroding the capital. It's actually difficult to do that with cryptocurrency. Part of the reason it's difficult is because if you want to store this for long term, and because it is a digital asset, um, it's very easy for someone to steal it from you um, if it's on an online system. So um, I have a small amount of Bitcoin, and my Bitcoin is in cold, 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 freezing, cold storage. Right? <laughs> And in order for it to be in freezing, freezing cold storage, um, it doesn't move. It doesn't get to be used for things. Now, one of the interesting things about Lightning Network is that if you're already running a full Bitcoin node, which costs money, if you run a Lightning Network node on top of it, you can actually collect some money in fees by parking a small amount of Bitcoin in there to create payment channels for others. So just by routing payments through your Lightning Network node, you can earn small amounts of fees. So this is an interesting way to put Bitcoin to work, um, but it adds the risk that the money that's on a hot online wallet can be stolen. For most people today, the real investment, the real yield for these cryptocurrencies as a store of value is really simple. They're not printing a lot more of them. So if you park it, you need a willing partner. You need a central bank that has as its primary mission to turn the national currency into shit. And if they do that, then your cryptocurrency appreciates in value versus the national currency because they're debasing it. Fortunately, Every single central bank in the world is currently a willing partner in this race to turning all of the world currencies into shit simultaneously. So all you have to do is hodl, and that is the ultimate return. Now, that doesn't mean that Bitcoin is an investment scheme. It's certainly not a get-rich-quick scheme. And I want to caution people. When you talk to others about this, make sure you emphasize the fact that this is a technology. And its primary advantage is creating systems of money that don't concentrate power in the hands of the few. That is the purpose. And in the process, it is not a get-rich-quick scheme. In fact, you can lose a lot of money by making some foolish decisions. And if you're not technically adept, you can lose money because it gets stolen from you, because it gets hacked, because you don't know how to use hardware wallets. There's all kinds of traps on the way. It's a get free scheme. So get free. Don't get rich.